So in this video, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pairing my Mini 2 to my controller. Now, these I do know that these two are not paired, so I'm going to go through the process for you. Um, it's pretty easy. I think one of the things you've got to make sure you're doing, guys, um, is you're pairing the right drone to your controller. So the first thing you want to do is turn on the controller. We got connection guide. Now make sure that you get the right drum. Don't go and press the mini free or the or the Mavic free, the Air 2S. The one I want to pair is the Mini 2. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna start searching for the drone. So what you gotta do first, guys, is remove the gimbal guard. You then power on the drone. I always have a little bit of a problem with this one. Um, right, there it is. You can hear the, it clicking in. So, as you can see there on the, on the controller itself, it's unable to connect. So what you do now, you press, you tap the pair button, and then you hold the button on your drone for four seconds. Right, you heard the noise. You heard the double click. So already we're paired up with um, your, your Mini 2 with the controller. I'm just gonna put the, the drone over there a moment. Um, so what we wanna do now, we wanna check to see if uh, it's updated. So we go over to the far right top. We go to about. Now I know straight away it's not updated so check for updates check in the version and it's saying we need a new update so we just go into the update so it's doing a new update for the mini 2 now i believe that this um update was come out a while ago but i haven't updated this drone so it just proves guys uh, to make sure that you do update your drone now it's already done it, so we just do as it says. Um, and you don't disconnect your drone, it says, it says there. You just follow the advice on the screen itself. Okay. So, firmware up successfully uh, restart aircraft. Okay, so it's gone straight into the Mini 2. We're ready to go to fly. Um, the, the update was already done, so we know about that. We just go over to about. We just click into that. We will check for updates. Firmware is up to date, so I haven't got to worry about the battery. So that, that's good to know as well. So the battery's updated. I think it's always best to be safe, guys, when you're flying because if you do get a problem this you know as far as you're concerned you followed all the correct procedures the software is up to date the battery is up to date okay just something just a quick one um it's always best to make sure your app's up to date as well now on some devices especially my phone my phone always seems to update anything that needs updating especially from dji but it's always best just to check that your DJI Fly app is up to date. So I'm using my iOS. I'm just gonna tap in what I'm after, DJI Fly app, and I need an update. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. So just simple, it's always worth checking, guys. Always worth checking. So the app's ready now. I'll just go into the app. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go straight into my drone. So I'm gonna turn on the controller. I'm gonna remove the gimbal guard on my Mini 2. 
and we're just going to turn on the Mini 2. Okay, that's on. And we just wait until it connects up. It didn't take long to connect up. So it's gone straight into the Mini 2. So we go over to the top right hand corner to about. Um, we then check the app version. So now we've got uh, 194, whereas before it was 190. So we also got the app up to date. Hope you found that useful. As always, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And yeah, I'll catch you in another video. Thank you.